Hey folks, this is your old pal, Uncle Al. Just put drops in my eyes. Ugh. Just taking a break, having a quick dinner before I run back to church. Closing up the office. Well, my, uh, I already closed up the office, like I told Ariel. I've been busy. So, I'm eating a quick dinner. ranch beans. This is when Uncle Alan's busy and, and stuff. In the poor box today, well, the food bank's donation box, I find trail mix. Thank you. It's always kind of handy. I expect some tissues or garbage and stuff. But today, somebody gave us a $10 bill, which is really good. Uh, after a week I had, it's like, oh, that's really nice. They donated 10 bucks for us. So I'll put that right there. Ran out of ink out of the second, oh, almost ran out, so I had to switch to a new one. Just writing and, and typing and doing paperwork where Uncle Alan's tired. Tip of the day is, okay, this is you, Dice area. Tip of the day, wrap around sunglasses. Now, the reason why is, see, it's wrapped around, so if there's like a sudden nuclear explosion, cover my head and stuff, and any bright light leaking in, like right now, because Uncle Alan has glaucoma, and nuclear blasts and glaucoma don't mix well. So, you see how bright it is? I live in the desert. That's about the same intensity after you see the flash. Okay? So wrap around sunglasses is a good good idea this summer, especially for you people on the East Coast. All right, I tell this to men and women, you want something to wrap around. It looks really bad when you only have this part right here, not covered. Inside the face, you have this big red splot. Okay, so you want to be, look, cool, I shall be back. Or I'll be back, whatever. But anyway, this is for the rough summer. And like I said, the longer you keep the nut in office, the worse it's going to get. All right. Russia has a plan to, you know, eliminate Japan. They're also having another plan to eliminate the Philippines. You know, Captain Crazy is not good for anybody. Get rid of him. All right. Don't forget, folks, we're going to have a rough summer before the dark winter. In those surviving cities on the East Coast, no power, no food, no heat. Remember, it's going to look like North Korea on the East Coast. So you should be damn stockpile. Tip of the day, sunglasses, wrap around so you don't have the flash burn. Got it? I hope so. And... For the person who donated 10 bucks into the food box, thank you very much. Usually I get Chuck E. Cheese to tokens and dirty tissue. Second thing you want to have, this one is a lightweight non-medical version of the N95 mask. It fits well. It's not for medical use, but it does in a pinch what everything else. Like I told Heidi on uh, Disable and Prepping, there are other diseases that are spreading around right now, not the red dragon, and you don't want to get it. Here we have San Joaquin Valley Fever, we have typhus, and I forgot the third one, air transmissible. Air transmissible. Anyway, I'm doing every step like the red dragon before other diseases. And if you're in, tight in a tight community, you should be wearing this and do everything in meetings and stuff to stay away from people. Six feet away, not for the red dragon, other diseases. After the pandemic of 1918, 1919, and 1920, during the 20s, they had pandemics you would not believe. Sleeping sickness, cholera, uh, typhoid, dysentery. Uh, what was the other one? I can't remember. 
everybody was catching it. Uh, sleeping sickness. There's sleeping sickness, malaria, whole bunch of diseases. Go see the diseases of the 20s. History repeats itself. I think we're going to have whooping cough, measles, measles again, uh, mumps. Every known disease that we defeated last century is coming back with a vengeance. So remember, sunglasses, six feet apart and wear some kind of mask if you're an elderly person. If you think you're invincible, don't wear the mask. Less people, less people to feed. All right? It's common sense. Stupid people always kill themselves. And I'll see you later, folks. Be nice to your friends and neighbor. Spread the word of, word of Uncle Al. Because nobody's ever watching my channel. And I already lost another five people. That makes 15 people so far this week. And sometimes they delete my comments. You know, you can't put down a comment. So wait a little bit, come back, check it out, leave a nice comment. And I'll see you later, folks. Remember, they're watching us. Bye now. I'll see you later. I'll be seeing you. Bye.